For tech companies, reputation is a key asset that can make or break their success. However, some have had their reputation damaged by various incidents and scandals that reveal their flaws and failures. In today's video, we will explore five of the most evil tech fails that shock the world and how they damage the reputation and trust of the companies behind them. From data breaches and privacy scandals to faulty products and unethical experiments, these are the tech fails that backfired in the worst possible ways. Number 1. Netflix Catastrophic Blunder In the summer of 2011, Netflix made a move that would go down in history as one of the most evil tech fails of all time. They decided to split their DVD by mail and unlimited streaming package into two separate services, effectively hitting customers with a 60% price hike if they wanted to keep the same services. Unsurprisingly, customers were not pleased. The fallout was catastrophic. Netflix subscribers fled, the stock price plummeted, and 800,000 users cancelled their subscriptions. It was a disaster of epic proportions. After realizing the magnitude of their mistake, Netflix CEO Reed Hastings had to come forward with a public apology. I messed up, I owe everyone an explanation, he said. It was a dark day for the streaming giant, and one that they would not soon forget. Number 2. Nokia's Deception in 2012, Nokia pulled off a deceptive move that left everyone wondering if they had just witnessed the greatest trick of the tech era. They launched their flagship smartphone, the Lumia 920, with claims of a powerful camera featuring optical image stabilization technology. Sounds impressive, right? Well, it was all a lie. At their press conference, Nokia executives boldly proclaimed the Lumia 920 as the best smartphone to capture pictures on touting its floating lens image stabilization as superior to not only their mobile rivals but even some DSLRs. But their deceit was soon exposed in a most humiliating way. A video demonstration meant to showcase the phone's capabilities backfired spectacularly when sharp-eyed observers at The Verge noticed a reflection revealing that the footage was not captured by the Lumia 920, but by a professional camera operated from a truck. The deception was laid bare for all to see. In the aftermath, Nokia had no choice but to apologize for their confusing promotional video. The damage to their credibility and reputation was severe, as they were perceived as resorting to desperate measures to compete with industry giants like Apple and Samsung. Despite its innovative features, the Lumia 920 failed to save Nokia from its eventual downfall, culminating in the sale of its mobile division to Microsoft in 2014. Number 3. NFT's Backlash the once promising integration of NFTs, which means non-fungible tokens, into the video game industry has turned into a nightmare for major companies like EA and Ubisoft. What was initially hailed as a revolutionary business strategy has now become a cautionary tale of greed, backlash, and reputational damage. EA, known for its aggressive embrace of NFTs, is now facing severe criticism as players and industry experts alike reject the idea of incorporating these digital assets into gaming. The initial excitement surrounding the potential for NFTs to enhance in-game items by verifying their uniqueness on the blockchain quickly turned sour as players saw through the thinly veiled attempt to artificially inflate the value of virtual goods. The once enthusiastic support from EA has now become a stain on its reputation with many accusing the company of prioritizing profits over player experience. Ubisoft's foray into NFTs with its Ubisoft Court Syllabus and Ghost Recon game was also met with overwhelming negativity. The decision to tie gameplay mechanics to NFTs, requiring players to invest significant time and resources to obtain them, was seen as a blatant cash grab. The backlash was so intense that the trailer for Ubisoft Courts was removed from YouTube and the entire project was deemed a colossal failure, tarnishing Ubisoft's standing in the gaming community. But perhaps one of the most infamous NFT-related fiascos in recent memory is the debacle surrounding Star Wars Battlefront II. Developed by EA and highly anticipated by fans, the game's release was marred by a controversial microtransaction system that relied heavily on randomized loot boxes. Players were outraged by the pay-to-win mechanics and the exorbitant costs associated with progression in the game. EA's dismissive response, claiming that high costs were intended to provide a sense of accomplishment, only fueled the flames of discontent. The situation escalated to such an extent that EA found itself in legal trouble, facing accusations of promoting gambling among underage players by the Belgian Gaming Commission. 
The repercussions of the scandal continue to haunt EA, with subsequent releases coming under scrutiny and investigation as late as 2023. Number 4. Raw Raw, a massively multiplayer online-like simulator, promised an expansive and intricate world akin to Grand Theft Auto Online. With flashy trailers showcasing towns, economic systems, and player governance, the game seemed like a groundbreaking experience. However, the reality was far from the hype. The development team, consisting of just two individuals, struggled to deliver on their ambitious promises. As eager fans awaited the game's release, they were met with a lack of real gameplay in the trailers. This deceptive marketing tactic eventually led to the suspension of Rawls' Kickstarter campaign and a subsequent fine from the platform for misrepresentation. While not directly related to technology, Raw serves as a stark reminder of the risks of overselling products to consumers. Number 5. Boeing's Negligence Boeing's 737 MAX aircraft, touted as the next generation of the most popular aircraft in history, suffered a series of catastrophic failures that resulted in tragic consequences. Due to a myriad of poor decisions, the aircraft crashed twice, leading to the deaths of hundreds of passengers. And it wasn't just this incident. On January 5, 2024, a Boeing 737 MAX aircraft flying from Portland to California experienced an emergency landing shortly after takeoff when one of its doors came off. The potential for disaster was immense, as only seven seats on the plane were unoccupied, and two of those happened to be adjacent to the malfunctioning door. Miraculously, no one sustained serious injuries, but passengers lost belongings and one individual even had his shirt ripped off his body due to the force of the incident. This alarming event raised serious concerns about the safety and quality control of Boeing's aircraft. Subsequent inspections of around 170 Boeing 737 MAX planes revealed multiple loose parts and installation issues with the same door plug that had caused the initial accident. The Federal Aviation Administration uncovered further manufacturing issues prompting Boeing's CEO to admit to a lapse in quality control. The persistent negligence displayed by Boeing in the face of potentially fatal consequences is deeply troubling. The company's actions, or lack thereof, raise questions about ethical standards and responsibility in the tech and aviation sectors. And to make matters worse, the passengers affected by the Ontario flight have taken legal action against Boeing, highlighting the severity of the situation.